get done today I think starting off with cleaning up the garage holy cow I've got 15 little mini projects all going on at once and I think what I really need to do is simplify my life and just clean up a bit I'm gonna get on that I have to back the car out. Got some stuff ready here. Garbage recycling. And this is my project box. It's gonna be like what I'm gonna throw stuff into. Uh, things I wanna get done this weekend. Like oil change and the door protectors. There's a bunch of things, little projects I got all over here. I'm just gonna be slowly, when I find them, I'm gonna throw them in there. There's pinstriping for the side, you know. Um, just get my project ready box. Basically just kinda of put stuff away, clean up. See where I'm at. Oof, to see what I can, see what kind of projects, see how full I can get this, this thing, huh? I did just pop in a new coolant temperature sensor. Uh, I've been having some idle issues and I figured that might help, so we'll give it a shot. Well, my time lapse ran out. My battery died, but I did get it nice and, nice and clean in here. Got all tucked away, swept up, whatnot. So, my first project on this beautiful rainy day, now that I've spent two hours cleaning up, is going to be replacing the hose, a couple of O-rings, and uh, getting that done. Uh, getting some new fluid in there, running pretty low here, because as you can see down here, it's pretty slick. I am definitely, I wiped it all off and everything, and trying to find where it was coming from. And it's coming from right here. It's coming off of this guy. Um, so I'm gonna pull that, pull this guy, put new O-rings right there, up here, and down here, just for that. And I got a new hose to replace because this one's starting to get worn right here. I'm just rubbing against that, so I wanna make sure I take care of that. So I'm just gonna replace the hose and those O-rings, fill it up, get back up in par condition. that bad boy on there put on there new o-rings on the power steering uh, hardline hose that goes directly to the actual power steering back and pinion bracket and then also down here uh, where the hose connects to the return line uh, got that all back up got put some more in there looks like I only lost three quarters of one of those guys uh, in the process so that's pretty good I'm just gonna kind of clean it up a little bit more um, Ran it for a little bit, ran the tires one way, back the other, did that like five or six times, kept checking on in between, checking on the level here. It went down a couple times, just kept filling it up, add more. I'm sure it'll go down a little bit more once the uh, system works itself out. There's probably some air bubbles in there and whatnot, but right now it's doing, seems to be doing all right. Just gotta wipe down, make sure I get all as much of this I can get off there before I bring it back up to temperature or else it'll just be smoking like crazy, because you can see I got a bunch on here. I accidentally let the hose set there for a second. It was just draining straight down. So we'll see what kind of damage I did as far as cleanup goes. But, all right. Project number two, I guess. Well, on to the next project. Got jacked up here. That's the next project. Oil gasket. Oil pan gasket, oil change. So it's built around there. What not? Uh, not really feeling this one right now, but, you know, hey, sometimes you just gotta do it. Gotta get under there. Change out the gasket, and then I'm going to obviously change the pan. It just sucks because I gotta drop the whole exhaust, which just takes like an extra half an hour. It's a pain in the butt. And take off the transmission guard. So, better get started on that. Woohoo! Alright, so got these uh, spring bolts undone. 
Uh, mine are aftermarket, so it doesn't matter what size they are. Uh, pulled those guys out. Pulled the 12 and the 14 off the flywheel. Grabbed the three 14s because I have the uh, four, two, one. See my flywheel is looking, uh, looking all right. My battery just out of my flashlight or else I'd shine it in there, but I can see that there's not anything crazy going on. All these gear teeth look really nice still. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with it. So I took off that guard so I'm able to get to the bolts that are up here. There's these ones that are hiding back there. So now my next step is to go ahead and drain, drain the oil. Just a little drop coming down. And yeah, drain the oil and I'm gonna pull these pans. Nice and thick. Oh, it just feels dirty. Actually, it looks cleaner on camera than it does in person. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's a lot of oil. Yes. Yes. Alright, oil is drained, filter's out. Time to get funny. Alright, so I got this guy off of here. This is the uh, OEM gasket, obviously. Um, obvious to me. It's extremely on there. That's not coming off at all. Looking at this, I can see that it was... Sorry. Looking at this, you can see that they used the original Honda Bond right there. This is just brittle. Not that. The inside of this is... I think you can hear that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish draining and uh, try and chisel this guy off of here. Lord, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a task and a half. That's that is on there. <laughs> All right. So after about 10 minutes of messing with this guy, only managing to get. Um, from here to there, off. This is literally coming apart and just little chunks, little pieces coming off. So the thought occurred to me that I'd saved, I, brought a, I bought a brand new pan for the D16 uh, Y8, I believe it was, that I bought this for and then ended up not using it. So they are exactly identical in every, Way, shape, form, um, divots, the depths are all equals. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same part. Most D16, D15 bed pans are the, or oil pans are the same. I know there's a little bit of a weird one somewhere in there. I can't remember what it is, but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead clean this old guy up that I've actually been saving over here for quite a while, and just today was gonna thinking about throwing it away. So I'm glad I saved it. So because I'm just gonna save myself a lot of time. This also has a lot of like really greeny stuff in it too, so I just don't wanna clean that out. This is gonna be a lot easier to clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, got my bolts all cleaned off, got my new gasket. This thing is clean and dry. I'm very, very excited about this. Oh, the outside's a little dirty, whatever. So I've got a little black silicone. I know I should be using Honda Bond, but I don't have any. Black silicone's fine, a little bit here, 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 here. Maybe not, it doesn't say to, but I like to put a little gist on the inside. Um, a little trick you can use to keep it in place if you want. Is to take a little thread and uh, thread it through and tie it down. And then once it's on and finger tight, then you can uh, clip the thread. Keep a little trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and Honda Bond, not Honda Bond this, throw it on, on the car. Yeah, buddy. You can see the uh, blue line up there. That's my new gasket. Got everything all cleaned off. It's just a little dust from the paper towel. But, alright, you got the new gas in there. 
I'll go ahead and uh, make sure the other ones had the o-ring was off of that one so I'm gonna oil this up put a little bit in there and throw it on there I'm not gonna put anything in there yet as I can see my gasket maker stuff is still wet so I want to hold off on that as long as possible but I definitely want to get the filter back in so I can get the uh, exhaust back on put that dude back where it belongs Alright, got the exhaust back on, oil filters in, oil pans back on, cleaned out. Just waiting a little bit longer for the gasket. Doing everything I can. Kill a little time before, because I don't want that gasket to get into the oil, obviously. Um, yesterday, I took my air filter out and cleaned that. It's been drying for like two days, so, or a day and a half rather, so I'm going to go and grab that and spray some uh i got some cleaner for it so i'm gonna go ahead and spray that down throw that back on there while i'm doing this and uh just do some general clean, general cleaning up i reckon a little bit messy but not too bad for, for an oil gasket all right got it all back together not seeing any leaks nothing coming from there it's pretty dry Nothing coming from down here. Oil on this side. It's all pretty clean. Took a little bit of shine, but that might be from something else. That looks good. Um, just check down below. You can't really see. It. Oh yeah, you can. No oil leaks yet. None that I've seen, no oil leaks yet. Got my filter back on. So I gotta come up with a good way to support that. Just to flop around. This is what it came with, but it doesn't. I gotta figure something out, because it's just floating on that right now. Anyways, I think that's. Got the garage all cleaned up. I think that's about enough for today. I'm gonna go inside and make myself pizza. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, wow. Seriously, just pulling it in. I rolled it out just to give it a nice little run and just drove it up in here and it was like the smoothest I've ever felt it. It really liked what I did. <laughs> it really likes new oil and all that jazz. Sweet, all right, well. Yeah, like I said, that's gonna finish it up for today. Come back tomorrow and I can finish my list. I only got like three of my 15 things done today, but I got the big heavy duty ones done, so I'm proud of myself on that fact. Thank you very much. All right, off to, uh, like I said, Pizzaville. Mm -hmm. Pizza 